Welcome to my presentation for the date 2020 PhD forum. The topic of my thesis is Network on Chip for a Heterogeneous 3D System on Chip. Heterogeneous 3D integrated chip consists of stacked dyes in disparate technologies. Thus, when integrating a network on chip, the routers will have to have non-uniform properties to cope with the disparate technologies. This has a vast influence on the network on all levels from system levels such as floor plans, to architectural levels such as router memory and router architectures, to the physical level such as the design of links and power models, but also for system simulation. Since no tools for design and simulation of network on chip for heterogeneous 3D socks exist so far, I propose Retotosca, a design and simulation framework that is available open source from GitHub. You can use the QR code to find it. It not only provides a cycle-accurate NOx simulator, but also an RTL description of your network, as well as link models. The link models allow for a dynamic link energy estimation within 1% of bit-level accurate simulations at a cycle-accurate simulation speed. Also, our simulator provides state-of-the-art performance, as you can see from the charts. For system-level optimization of NOx for heterogeneous 3D SOCs, I considered application-specific network design. The motivation is that the PPA of routers and components will vary between layers, that the TSVs for vertical interconnects require area, but that we also wanted to make the advantages of redistribution available at system level. Therefore, we proposed algorithms and, and tools at ICCD 2019. As the core results, we found that we can improve area by up to 12.9% using redistribution at system level, that we can improve white space by up to 18.8%, but that it is also possible to improve communication by around. For architectural optimization, I took a look at optimization of router memory, but also optimization of throughput and latency. The main motivation behind the optimization of router memory was that in heterogeneous 3D system on chip, the area and power costs of buffers varies between layers. Therefore, it is advantageous to put as many buffer cells as possible into cheaper layers. In our architecture sketch, you can see that the baseline routers are conventional input buffered routers, while the aggressive error optimized router puts one input buffer from the more expensive layer into the cheaper layer as an output buffer. By this, we were able to achieve area reductions of up to 28%, power reductions of up to 15% at an average performance loss of less than 4.6%. The motivation behind the optimization of throughput and latency is the observation that the clock frequency of routers differs between layers in a technology heterogeneous settings. This has two important consequences. The first is that throughput is limited by the slowest router along a packet path. The second is that the transmission speed varies between layers. We could use the different transmission speeds to improve latency. Therefore, we proposed two new routing algorithms, which send packets along faster paths as much as possible. In terms of optimization of throughput, we proposed a co-designed router architecture. It is designed such that it can bridge a clock frequency gap of 2x and 4x. But it also supports a high vertical throughput meaning that the throughput limitations of the slower routers is bridged for those paths. By this co-design of a router architecture and routing algorithms, we were able to achieve a throughput increase of 2x, an average latency speed up of 2.26x, 41% dynamic power savings at only 2.1% area costs. To conclude, my PhD thesis proposes asymmetric 3D NOx as a novel design paradigm to build NOx for heterogeneous 3D system on chips. I proposed a complete tool stack for system design and simulation. I proposed algorithms for system level optimization. We introduced novel routing algorithms and router microarchitectures and were able to achieve a vast performance improvement by a co-design of those. You can find the PDF of my PhD thesis following the QR code provided. Thank you for your kind attention.